What is poppin'? Okay. I don't know how many people are watching, but that's totally fine. Also, I am streaming twitch.tv slash Kozilix. Today, we're going over why Impala won VCX 2022. So, we're exactly going to be just breaking down this grand finals. Exactly what do the interactions look like? And why is Impala winning? See, like, which interactions he's winning and why and whatnot. And just, just all, like, over, like... Why did you win? So you guys can learn how to win one day. If you enjoy this type of stuff, hit that like, subscribe, comment down below for more. And um, also, if you hear purring, then that's literally a cat purring on my lap. Um, Sal's cat. Anyways, yo, what's poppin', Hamo? Um, yeah, I want to start recording these uh, live streams and turn them into videos, and then I can stream more. Uh, it's like two birds, one stone. So uh, yeah, hopefully I become more of a streamer. We'll see. I've been like primarily on YouTube, but I could just do both. Okay. Now, let's get right into this. So, we got Grand Finals all turned down a little bit. Um, and it's just going to be like us watching it over and then just kind of breaking down when uh, interesting things happen. So, this is the start of Grand. This is Impala versus Godly. I've actually never seen the uh, actual VOD of it. It's cool. It's what got him the W, the reason why he's in the grand finals top side. Meanwhile, Godly, keep in mind, he's oh, 50 50 interactions here. One thing you'll notice is Impala loves stage control, it's just being on the ground and zoning essentially. Bow's really good with like long priority. Also, Sword's a really bad matchup into Bow, in my opinion. Um, because on Lant actually isn't so bad because I can like dash jump over the downlight. Um, but on sword, you don't have that same momentum to be able to like hit Sarah punishes as easily. So yeah, just it's interesting. Bad insider. Just a lot of stage control, you'll see. A lot of stage control. Like dashing away, a little dash cancels. Good try on the unlight. Good little down there. And yeah, that, that's exactly what I mean. Just winning stage control consistently. That was done by uh, Godly. You know you know that SIG exists. You can play around it. It is a really good signature. Nice end light. Yeah, just tons of stage control. Godly cannot hold the stage. It's also Swords a bad weapon going into bow to regain stage control. It's literally you're playing a bad matchup. He's also just whiffing a ton. I don't know, like, it's crazy. It's very clean, but also Godly's playing right into Impala's game plan. Um, he's not making Impala's life hard. So, like, holding stage control, um, playing around it. Obviously, he's playing weapons that aren't as good at that. I don't know why Godly played Sword. Just a bad matchup. Um, but yeah, Impala's playstyle is very unique. And is very good at, like, stage control. And Sword, again, it's not great at retaking stage control, at least against Bow and Spear. I can even map this out. Let me show you guys. Um, this would be, like, let's say Demon or whatever map. And then we can zoom in a bit. Let's say Impala is here. Impala's range is like here, here, side light, uh, end light, maybe a bit of end sig. You can kind of see like where Impala can attack, right? So on sword, where can you go? Well, maybe on sword, you could be like here, you could be like directly above. Um, but the real answer is this sweet spot, this hover spot is also really good. This is where I like to play on Lance, um, because dash jump sends at a perfect height where you're like low enough to not get hit with like the end sig or like the end light is like too close. You know, this is obviously like over representative, like it, it's, it's a lot bigger, the stage. So like you can play like this, this end sig height is actually a little bit higher. So whatever, but you can play like right here and then hit like a dash jump. Like you can go like dash jump side air on Lance. So it's like, it's not bad if you're a Lance player, but into sword or like with sword, what are you going to do? You have to be like above, right? Above, um, maybe you could do like dash jump dodges and then hit like side lights. Um, I want you to just watch. Godly doesn't do any of that. It's just a lot of playing far away and then just getting beat with raw options. So like right in this situation, right? Um, you get side light, you get down light, 
down light, side light. Um, that's kind of like your spacing, right? Um, Godly then can play in this area and like dodge and bait with movement. Um, just isn't really doing that. Um, so watch, let's see what Godly does. Okay, so that was good. That was a dumb extension. See, like a lot more dash jumps here. Kind of kept touching the ground. Nice. Yeah, I'm curious. Let's, let's see how Godly starts playing it. Because I know Godly did a bit better after. Nice. Like, all you have to do, this is easier said than done, is you need to just be in a spacing to avoid the attacks and then just bait them out. Um, so, like, jumping, that's a good way of baiting attacks, right? Another good way there. Like, Godly could be playing like that. Just the first stock or two Godly had just ran into Impala's attacks. I get the matchup is difficult, and Impala's an insane player. It was, like, way more accurate that day. Um, but Godly was just playing right into Impala's hands. See, that's another good bait. Knowing the dead zone of Spear is kind of stacked. Same thing there. If Godly hit that down light, if Godly was just didn't miss input, um, that's even more damage. Like, Godly started doing a lot better. That side light's pretty bad. That was a good try. Good sider. Good down lights there. Complete turnaround after that, those first two stocks. I think Godly was just playing really poorly. Nice. Yeah, God, Godly's playing a lot better, just just not running into Impala's attacks the same. Playing around them, right? That's what we like to see. Ooh, good dodge. Nice. Good side Complete turnaround after those first two stocks. Godly's playing better than Paula, like 90%, not 90, maybe like 70% of this game. It's just Godly took way too much unnecessary damage. That's it. You can't play there as well. Like, Godly needs to know that. That's all it takes is just like one bow delight. You know this Godly has no jumps as well. Like, Impala knew. We saw that last red animation. He's like, okay, at this point, it looks a little bit nervous. Um, Godly was playing better than him that game, except the just getting kills and whatnot. Like, Godly was winning neutral pretty consistently those following two stocks. It was just the first two stocks playing really dumb. So switching to the Hattori, I wonder what the decision making was. I thought the Katars were going well. I don't think Godly lost because of, like, Katars the Spear. Or the Sigs or anything. They're very two similar characters. Overextension, put yourself in a bad situation. What is that side light, Godly? No. No, this is a gold move. Is no, no, you don't try and punish side six off stage. No, no, no. Yeah. What are you doing? It's just random. Look at this. You're in neutral. Oh, I'm just going to try and stare. Like, I respect it, but like. We're playing Brahalla. <laughs> you gotta understand the game we're playing. We aren't playing an aggressive game. Good side there. Nice side there. Missed there. It's fine. Good snare. Good try. That damage doesn't matter. Ugh. Like, just again, you gotta avoid those sigs. You gotta know the Kaya sigs. It's just like lack of matchup experience. I'm not even kidding. It's crazy. The amount of EU players and grands that have lost the NA at BCX is kind of sad. I think it's every year. Every year except for like one, at least in person. Wait, no, BCX 2018, no. 
2019 yes 2017 yes 2016 yes yeah literally and this year it's funny it's always na versus u brazil's getting better though i'm not gonna lie this is probably the least hype bcx in terms of pure gameplay there's ever been i i'm i'm sorry i'm gonna be the one to say impala godly insane players this is pretty boring compared to mordax or lucian um or koji maybe koji was a bit more boring it was also 2016 um but it's, it's yeah i'm sorry impala no no, no hate okay i play a boring play style too yeah, Luna's pretty hype. He's aggressive. I'm not gonna lie. I would, I would just be capping if I said that wasn't true. Another good end sig. Another end. -sig. You gotta stop running into these end sigs. I know end sig covers a good dead zone on bow, but like, it's just like you don't need to get eaten by two of them, right? Like, look at this decision making. Okay, that's one. Okay, so now you just got hit with an end sig. So you need to be like conditioned. You need to know not to go there, right? And like just to be specific, let's take the screenshot. Okay, you cannot be here and you cannot be here. Okay, stop being here. Maybe go directly above, right? So let's see. Tries to slightly go directly above, but at a very horizontal angle. Like, look at this. Right, let me put playback speed to 0 0.5. This is dumb. Watch this. It's just too close. It's too close. You can't be there. That sig is amazing, but you, you can't be there, Godly. Um, it was just a call up by Impala. Godly was trying to react, but the sig is too fast. You don't react to that sig. You space around it. Um, do whatever it takes to not get hit by stuff. I wouldn't rely on reacting to sigs at a top level. Just space around. Like there, you spaced around the D sig. I know it's a big mat like sig, but yeah, you space around the down sig, right? Like there's a way to just play around these sigs. Although it's very difficult. That end sig is massive. It's just you can't run into it. At least you can't run into two of them. Use movement options, like understand the spacing. I think it's a match of experience. I don't think um Godly plays very reactive in general. Yeah, he's he seems more reactive on hit, not in neutral. Uh, you can't react to that sig, and you can't react to many sigs in the game. It's not humanly possible, so you gotta, like, just play around it. You can bait within it. Like, you can be like, hey, I'm entering your spacing. No, I'm not. I dodge out. Oh, I'm, I'm coming close to you. I'm pressuring. No, I'm not. You know, get out, right? So, it's just be careful. Like, you can, you can bait, but that was not bait. That was just godly running into Impala. Like, you just can't run into the end sigs. I might be nitpicking it too much. This is, like, easier said than done. But um, you just can't. At least at, at this level. He's just hit, getting hit by way too many of them. You should see the match before. Just confirming games. Or stocks because of it alone. Godly's done a really good job once Godly gets momentum. But same thing there. Like just knowing what Bo's looking for. Just running into a lot of the attacks. Or he's just not spacing properly around them. Maybe not lack of knowledge. Maybe Bo's broken. All of this. It's all avoidable. Like this. You're you're fast falling into him. On Bo. Like. You, you can't. That's not reactive. That's not reactive. You get hit with an air. Then you fast fall diagonally down into a recovery. Nah. I you probably tilted. Because Godly was probably mentally convinced they weren't winning at this point. He was fast falling everything, yeah. Mental block, probably? Probably. It's the end of a, a, a game. Definitely, like, some mental block. Just knows the mistake or something. I also don't think Hattori was the right pick into this. I think something with more momentum. Like, I really like Lance. And Gauntlets might even have a better matchup because Gauntlet Sider. This is really good. The Scythe was a good pick. Scythe is a really good pick. I just want to, like, mention that those dead zones again on Bow. So bow can like cover like here or whatever. Um, scythe down there, you can like dash jump down there or dash jump like side there really easily and just kind of get in on that dead zone. Plus you have a good ground pound and I don't know, I wouldn't challenge with there too much, but you can get it pretty quick. I think Scythe's a better matchup than uh, Sword and Gauntlets is better than Spear, at least into this. Oh, that's for Hala, my bad. Yeah, just a clean start. Definitely the right matchup. Okay, but avoiding doesn't always guarantee a punish. I don't think he was trying to get hit, but maybe trying to preemptive punish. He wasn't 
avoiding any of the attacks. You have to at least avoid. If the attacks are extremely broken, where like you're avoiding them and you're not like getting yourself in a more advantage state position, then that's a different story. But avoid them first. At least try. It was running into them. Like a, a lot of them. At least the last two games. This game's night and day so far, but it's not really the same. Oh, I think there's a gimp in this game off the top. This was pretty hype, I believe. That was a good try. Good side there. Nice snare. Nice snare. Yeah, clean. Scythe was the right play. Um, and Paul in disadvantage state as well is like really difficult for him to get back. And Scythe keeps you in a constant disadvantage state because of active input. Ugh. 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 Godly, godly, godly. What is this spacing? He's directly above you and you're side lighting. And then directly above you again and you're side lighting. Bruh, just end light. That was weird. And then you dodged in again. Stop dodging in. Stop falling in. You're just going in, in, in. Stop. Oh my. I get it's hard in the moment, but. Whatever. Wake up there. Going in again. Went did low and in. Okay. It's risky. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's break this all down. Ground pound's fine. Then you can't challenge spear directly below. And, but this is also just genuinely like really good from Impala. This is less from like Godly. The ground pound is risky when you're at a full stock above. I'm not going to lie. Your goal should be to survive. Um, but the rest, that's all. That's really good from Impala. That was just really solid. Yeah, I, I thought he threw as well. After the first there, if he's going to jump, he needs to jump dodge. Agreed. I, I think the whole exchange was fine from Godly, even though it like looked rough and Polly got full stock. Godly didn't make that many mistakes. It was just more the general mindset of go off stage with gauntlets when you have a full stock lead at the world championship. And if you die, it's a tie game. <laughs> like, you just gotta make that decision in your head, you know? Just beforehand. Just think of, like, what's your goal? Your goal is to do damage and survive. Going for a ground pound off stage and going for a cool combo in front of millions of people, potentially, is just not worth it, even though it looks cool. Ooh. Just barely missed the weapon toss. That's fine. Good end light. So like here it might be fine to go off stage. It's also a bow. It's not going to be the same as Spear Dare. Okay, that was all clean. I feel bad for Sandstorm. The only two BCXs he won were probably like the two worst. Kind of sucks. The branding knows enough alone, so it's fine. He can also he'll he'll, he'll be back. BCX definitely counts for PR, like a lot of PR, clean. I kind of autopiloted through this. Yeah, you just can't be like dodging right next to a, a bow. There we go. That, like, that's all you had to do on the earlier stocks. This is exactly what I'm talking about, Solar Sun. Private land for just BCX or all the lands. Uh, private for just BCX. Look at this. This is all you gotta do. Know what's coming, dodge, and then down air. Like, you could have done it on sword too. Like, at least Godly's adapting, but it's just a matchup thing. And, and let me see the spacing on that D-Light. That could have been just a really well-placed D-Light, that is. And weapon throws are no longer uh, broken. So, just some clean neutral exchanges. <laughs> just risky. And then you have no dodge. Yeah, like, what's like the, the risk-reward in your head? You just can't get greedy like this. I don't care if it's cool, okay? It's not going to do anything with the gravity cancel. It's just dumb mistakes that even I make. Like, like I'm dumb too. I, we're all dumb. I'm just like pointing out the mistakes. It's just, you got to think of risk reward. You're at like BCX. You're trying to bring this to a game five and your gravity cancel down light when you're behind. What mental is that? Like, it's just too risky. Nice snare. Impala just got back really well. Downer. Ground pound. Okay. 
Impala won here though, so let's see. I want to see exactly why Impala won BCX. This is where we're going to see it. What decisions did Impala make or Godly make that made them win or lose? That was a good punish from Godly. Could have gone a lot more. Um, the D light's fine, but probably could have side lighted. Just whiff, whiff. You just gotta be really cautious. Look at Godly as well. You're standing still to win neutral. You need to be using some more movement. Um, bait Impala's attacks. But Impala just completely baited out your attacks. Whiff, whiff, button master. Get punished. Uh, that was a bad sider. Good. It's not true. Again! Okay, it was a gravity cancel on Sig. So the spacing was like a little bit different like i really like that little detail from impala i'm gonna say that's less ungodly more really good play from impala but still you just gotta like really be cautious of it but that was that was really good from impala first time doing that in the set too so just do it here okay stop stop you almost threw the set because of that no ha! did it again oh my god to be fair the n6 shouldn't have hit let's see like before no, that hits. That hits. The wings on it. That hits. That's fine. It's a good sig, to be fair, but that hits normally. And then almost through the entire set because of that one GC. You just can't force it. It was really sick that he hit it the first time, but after it was just forcing it. You just need to know. Look at the spacing where Impala is off stage. Like, look at this. You, you should know it by now. Don't be like diagonal. Don't be here. If you're here, you're screwed against the NSIG. Maybe be like here. Not even, you just ran into it. No. If you're trying to play reactive, that's fine, but you gotta space properly, you know? It just wasn't good spacing. And then another thing Godly had options to make it back there. Jump, jump. You have a dodge. Dodge straight up. Why aren't you dodging? Oh no. Okay, I, like, I'm not going to make fun. Godly, Impala, amazing players. But, like, if you're going to nitpick their gameplay, you can just see these genuine mistakes. These players make so many mistakes. Impala made way less mistakes than Godly, but Godly didn't make Impala make mistakes. Like, Godly didn't use movement and other means of making Impala miss. Wasn't spacing around Impala's attacks that well and whatnot. Um, I believe, like your opponent makes you look better like wesley played a set and hit some insane clip and then placed like 33rd um you can't really judge skill based off like just one match but what like you can look at is like okay godly just ran into a lot of impala's stuff and didn't space properly around which made impala look like the greatest player of all time I'm not saying impala might not be the greatest player of all time i just think impala could have had a tougher matchup but godly played really well in general it's easier said than done i'm just noticing these mistakes pros every pro makes these mistakes but yeah it was just i don't know it's just little things like that like you have so much money on the line it's last at red you'd think to dodge here it's just weird i i don't know look there's no dodge no dodge you, you still have your dodge it's just weird but Impala's really good in stage control, so you have to, like, space properly and win neutral. Just a bit weird. But yeah, that's BCX 1v1. Uh, anyone that's watching on YouTube, thanks for watching this video. Now, I'm going to be watching the 2v2, and let's kind of review that. Um, so if you want to watch that, then notifications on on YouTube. Just stay tuned. Um, no, next video is probably, like, tomorrow or something. But I'm streaming it now on my Twitch, so check out twitch.tv slash